So today I want to talk about um, my landscape truck and how I ended up with this setup. When I first started cutting grass out of high school, I had a typical Ford Ranger and a little utility trailer. And as I built up customers, commercial customers, I ended up with like a diesel truck and a, a, a tandem axle, you know, 18 foot utility trailer. And then we went to Zuzu box trucks. After that, um, I got out of the commercial side of the business and went back to residential and got to looking around over winter when it was slow one time and found that Ford made these trucks starting in, I believe, 2015. So I went and took a look at them and it kind of reminded me of like a miniature box truck. So the benefits of this would be not, not pulling a trailer so you can get in and out of a neighborhood real easily. Uh, your equipment being out of the weather and locked up. Uh, being able to park it at my house versus a shop or a storage parking spot. And I think it looks professional and sparks a lot of interest. People are always questioning what I do or how it's set up inside. But um, a typical day for me, I carry these mowers. I carry an Xmark 36, which cuts almost all the properties. I carry Xmark 30 and your backpack blower, weed eater, edger, and extended hedge trimmer. So I picked up these ramps at Harbor Freight. They were cheap. I had a coupon for them. Uh, they're lightweight and they're fast. Like I don't mind getting them in and out of here. It's, it's quick and easy to load and unload. If it was a concern of yours, or if you wanted to say, for instance, use the, the navigator, you could build a trailer ramp that kind of sit like unfolds like a scissor and folds up in there. And then you could put riders and other things like the navigator has a, the center tire in the back. It's in the center. It would, it would load up no problem if you had say like a four foot wide gate that folded up inside. The pros to this versus the Zuzu box truck I had before are for one, it's only got four tires. So that's a lot less maintenance less tires to buy they, they start adding up um, it, it holds six quarts of oil versus almost 16 in the Zuzu box truck um, it's getting 20 miles to the gallon versus 8 to 10 with the diesel engine on the box truck it doesn't take a skilled driver really to operate these they're like driving a truck basically uh, it's got a reverse camera you can see when you back up it's safe it's got airbags the Zuzu box truck didn't have airbags. Um, I think those trucks work great for big commercial crews. Maybe someone up north that cuts a lot of acreage or you know cemeteries, big commercial properties because you need those big riders. Whereas this one's not gonna be able to carry it. But um, this this truck kind of fit all, all my needs and check, checked all the boxes for a, a typical residential route where I live. So the inside of this is uh, six foot tall, I believe. So my head barely touches the top. I just kind of ducked a little bit underneath the, the support ribs. Uh, Ford offers an even taller one and an even longer model. Um, I think it's 50 or 60 inches wide between the fender wells. If you needed to, this door unlocks and it's got a magnet on the back side to where it holds it against the truck so the wind doesn't blow it away. And that gives you a lot more area to load stuff with a forklift or a machine or something like that. This side door opens up and it's wide enough to load a pallet of material in with a forklift. Thanks for tuning in today and checking out how I set up my landscape company and what works for me. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think about this or what works best for your company. Um, we're going to start getting into more videos about turf management and how to build up business and customers and, and equipment maintenance. So stay tuned and if you like the content of this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.